Hello, so let's get rid of all this rubbish. Um, CD documents. Make the make tray. Make the scrapers. CD scrapers. Uh, virtual env demo. No, oh, virtual env not found. sudo apt get install virtual env. Yep. This is a new Pi. I um, had to upgrade it. The previous one only had eight gig, and seven of it was the operating system. So try again with virtual m demo. I think I'm running Python three point eight, three point eight five, something like that. sense. <clears throat> sometimes um, things will install with pip and sometimes they'll be up to get install. Obviously if it's Python it's most likely going to be uh, pip. <laughs> right let's go. So we've installed virtual environment, we've installed scrapey, let's do start scrapey start project immo. And you'll notice I've learned my lesson. I'm now, I'm now doing all of this as a user. So uh, uh, let's see. Oh, I need to um, cd to bin source activate. See the emo to the left of pi at pi4 now. And if we do, oh, we need to go back. That cd minus is uh, cd space hyphen so useful. And what we do? cd emo, cd emo again, so nested. <laughs> and um, cd spiders. And um, we can start scrapey shell now. Right. And if we do fetch, and this is the site I want to potentially scrape because I know it's a difficult one. And ich bin kein Roboter. Mm. Let's see if we can. I'm 99% sure this won't work, but I just want to test it just because I've hit a brick wall doing it with beautiful soup and also hit a brick wall doing it with various proxies so and what here yeah, to okay so it checks robots text first as you can see here and then obviously robots text says no that's not allowed so if we actually go to robots.txt should open up in Chromium and there we go we can see uh, disallow so the reason why it's being disallowed is let me just move that across you can see um, those three lines at near the bottom sushi search so I think although that's suche forward slash controller s73 s uh, but there's nothing these are the only things that are allowed so allow these disallow search forward slash it's not disallowing search itself. So, and then at the end, it's got allow all. What the wild card? 
but I think the damage is done already here. Uh, so what I'm just going to do is just see if we get anything if we just do Suche. <clears throat> I suspect it won't actually find anything, so we probably will get a error 404. No, 405, okay. Now, is that because the referral is none? I don't think so. I think it is purely because robots.txt is, <laughs> is restricting us from going to the Suche page. So, yeah, uh, this is basically a, a quick install of Scrapey from scratch on a Raspberry Pi. And it's a demonstration of uh, how to check a site very quickly to verify via robots.txt whether you're allowed. Um, what we could do is if we go to settings, uh, let's exit that. <laughs> and then if we do ls, and then we'll go go up, back up and ls and then if we do nano settings.py and then yeah if you've done much scrapey at all you will be familiar with robots of bay set it to force and now we can just do scrapey sorry about the typing scrapey shell again and then if we do, um, oh, it doesn't do the history, does it? That's annoying if you're a mediocre typist like what I am. Uh, let's get that. Let's get. Okay, let, we'll try the whole the whole URL first. And pretty certain that robots txt won't have made any difference. And indeed, you can see it hasn't. Again, we got <coughs> error 405, and if we do, let's just do, we'll do fetch. I think if we do fetch on um, just the actual base URL, it should be okay. Yeah, so we get 200. Drop the mic, not like a boss. And um, let's just do, is it Suchi with a, yeah, Suchi with a capital S. 404, yeah, so page not found. And then if we did radius, we need we can't really guess this URL. We need to be a bit more uh, precise than that. Uh, Can we strip off part of that URL? Because I think um, all the bit after here is just getting a little bit specific. So let's just see if Berlin works. No, it doesn't. Center of search address. Rate. Oh, it's, let's remove radius. Let's see if we can just do search on house. Wow, 85,000 results. <laughs> If we could scrape that, I think we would be in business, but um, let's not get too excited because I think we will get a 405 error. So yes, we do. And why is that? <laughs> um, I think in Robots TXT, that S, was that actually a, reg reg a regular expression? I don't know. Sorry if you can't see this. It's, uh, oh, let me make it bigger. There we go. Oh, it doesn't make the address bar bigger. Uh, Robots.txt. S. Hmm. That's allowing any user agent, that's useful to know. Uh, Suche controller, Suche S-73. You see, I, I would have said that anything that wasn't one of these three would be allowed. 
because it's not it's allowing all at the end um, nevertheless if we what can we try is it because the referrer is none uh, okay let's we could set the referrer to be this so if we copy that and sorry if we exit out of this um, and nano settings what we're we looking for we're looking for uh, we want requ uh, default request headers we set these and we can do something like um, and then we go back to scrapey shell and we will just try that last fetch again Oh, take out radius, wasn't it? So we just wanted search for house calf. And I think that means uh, search for houses to buy. Paste that in. Yeah, so there you can see we've, <coughs> we've now got a, a referrer in there, but uh, we're still getting a 405 error and unfortunately this is a site which they sell the um, they sell their data via their own API so they're very protective over their data um, which is a shame because I think um, <laughs> you know certain businesses may want to just access the information through a little bit of web scraping and then potentially buy the properties well that's <sighs> that's my opinion and uh, I don't know. Data protection, GDPR. If you live in Europe or in the EU, there's a thing called GDPR, something blah, 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 data protection. But there we go, error 405. So not everything in web scraping is simple. And um, yeah, if you before you get really, you know, before you start writing a spider and it just in its entirety, um, just check whether you've got robots.txt set to true or false. Um, put in a referrer, sometimes that will help. And yeah, check the URL. And um, just in case you're thinking, well, why isn't he checked whether there's any JSON or anything? I already have, and there isn't. If you um, when you make the request for another page, or even when we, uh, let's if we do view, uh, if we do inspect element on something on this page, we do inspect element on that, and then if we do, if we just refresh the page, and um, yeah, there you can see there's the the get request up here. And um, yeah, there's no JSON. The only JSON is uh, first JSON is down here. Let's see what we've got last. So there's a post. So we post some JSON, but the only JSON here is last search. Miss from CloudFront. 
content type. So this, that's the request header and Okay, let's, um, so we've got a referrer here. Let's just copy that referrer. That's quite a big long It may be that the, uh, just the, the short base URL for the referrer was not what it was happy with. If we pretend we're coming from this page and just try one last time, scrapey shell. And have we still got it up here? Oh uh, yeah, let's try copy. Can we copy it? Yeah, we can, that's handy. And 405, so it, I think uh, there's some pretty strict checks going on here somewhere. And there we go, end of. <laughs>